shows the use of the various techniques against an opponent, chokuzuki, thrusting punch to the solar plexus, the throat, the face, various targets. Now, avoiding the punch, uraken uch, back fist strike, either to the temple or to the body, temple or to the ribs. Yoko kiyagi, this is a side snap kick to various targets. A back fist, Uda Ken Uch against Punch. the Makiwara. Now the actual punching technique. Next demonstration of Kime or focus. Kime. There's the muscular contraction at the very end of the technique. Now notice Master Nakayama's efficient movement. Only the down to block an opponent's attack. Okay, block, grab, and then hammer fist to the body. I'm stepping forward and jamming or blocking an opponent's attack. Okay, blocking to the outside of two punches. Okay, grabbing the opponent's foot, sweeping him down. Now block the opponent. Okay, wrap or tie up his arm. Counterattack with a side kick. Now blocking the next opponent, attacking from the rear, and then a series of blocks. Now block, uh, double fist punch. Now changing direction. Same sequence, front kick, block, double punch. Beautiful dynamics. Now here's the jump, and then up again. Karate uses every striking surface of the body, both for defense and for attack. Especially important are the hands and feet, which are systematically trained until they become the most formidable of weapons. Since karate is essentially a defensive art, they become defensive weapons, to be used when attacked, in which case they are also used for counterattack. exercises is one of the most important facets of karate training for in this art the body must be made into a veritable weapon sparring with another student comes only after one has become thoroughly familiar with the basic movements of karate in these mock fights the attacker is prearranged and the defender is required to apply the block proper to the mode of attack following with the counter-attack
This quiet, pleasant house is the home of Kyuzo Mifune, 10th down of the Kodokan, and one of the greatest of all judoka. Mifune first studied judo under the great Jigoro Kano, who was the father of modern judo and founder of the Kodokan. Although Mifune is one of the greatest judo men alive, he is now 73 years old and is little more than 5 feet 3 inches high. He weighs less than 110 pounds, but in judo, more than in any other sport, technique is the basis of success. Hands, legs and loins must move in perfect synchronization for the proper application of all leg techniques. The advanced foot sweep. As an opponent's foot is touching the mat, Mifune's leg sweeps behind his ankle and he pulls the opponent forward. When he has mastered his art to a reasonably high standard, the judoka should be able to sense instinctively what kind of move an opponent is contemplating. Speed, of course, is all important. The counter-attacking moves should not be regarded as defensive in character. And a spring hip or loin. The scarf hold lock. The rear hold. The ankle throw, the one-arm shoulder throw, and the major outer winding throw. But Mifune wins. This, then, is the art of Kyuzo Mifune, an art which is swift, beautiful, and clean. <laughs>